Hey, it's Wrestling Hero Figs. Best customs. Best customs of 2017. I can't stress to you how much this video has been requested. This will technically be a two-part series. First part will show my favorite figures in the custom figure collection. And second part will show the overall custom collection. Now, there might be a few that are missing, whether it's due to trade or selling. But I would say a good 95% are still pretty much here. Spider-Man. This one right here, I think we reviewed back in July. Um, this is basically, this is not a fantasy attire. This is uh, Finn Balor prior to WWE, Prince Devin. Of it. Half of it um, is Spider Man. Well, actually, it's technically all Spy Spider Man. Uh, like, ba th that's basically what the whole attire is based on. The right is like from the traditional Spider Man attire that you know. And then on his left, your right, this is kind of like Spider Man uh, 2099, which is like a fu futuristic Spider Man. Love this. I can't stress to you. This is probably my second favorite Finn Balor custom in the collection. I'll show you my number one. It's definitely in this video. AJ Styles, he did wear this back in. Um, I think it was September, August. It, it was definitely this year. And we didn't see it on live TV. This is more of a... Uh, he wore this on a non-televised event. It was in Japan. Um, and, I mean, it's really not much. It's just like a mask. And really, that's all about it. It, it is a removable mask. Uh, we got this from Ring Bling Custom. I still... This is so cool. <laughs> I love this one. I don't know why, but... I just love that AJ Styles. And there are several AJ Styles in this video. Um, there might be a couple more. But you guys know, like, this year was pretty much the year of the Ballers and AJs. Now, right here, uh, Bobby Roode. This was mainly a, I don't know if you'd call this, like, a fix-up. Because, I mean, a lot of the parts did come from the NXT. Or, yeah, it was the NXT Target exclusive. Um, the head, the arms, everything else about it, or, you know, like... Uh, that was actually like added to was like the elite parts. This was Damien Mizdow. This was his very first attire that he wore. Um, it was his very first WWE pay-per-view on the main roster. Now, next up, AJ Styles. See, I told you. <laughs> I promise. This will be the last AJ. Um, but not in the collection. On the collection vi video, you'll probably see like a, a good handful. This right here, this is Elimination Chamber. He was one of the last participants in the Chamber match. Him and Bray Wyatt were the last two. And uh, I don't <laughs> Like, this was... Okay, I made this one prior to the uh, Toys R Us exclusive coming out and I love I, like an, any of his colorful bright attires I loved so this one definitely needed to get done love this one still big fan of it um I do was I was planning on doing a head swap from that recent Elite Series 56 to longer hairstyle I think that would just definitely be more accurate Sheldon Benjamin now this is not based on his current run this is back in his uh well it was like uh Ruthless Aggression days. this is when he won the IC title great run for Sheldon Benjamin I can't tell you how much of a success he was back Back then, and I'm sure he will be here in 2018. I mean, only time can tell, but again, this one so cool. Uh, this is back when he used to have hair. This is all mainly just like line work. This was using a Kofi Kingston. Um, I think it was one of his earlier series. I think it was like the green attire, which is definitely a safe bet because anytime you're going with like a white paint, it, you got to go with a light color for your base. Otherwise, it's just going to be tough to paint over that. Right here, this is uh, actually pretty recent. This was probably within the last week or so. This one right here, Jason Jordan. I really wanted to get this one done. I, I have been working on it for, you know, a couple of weeks, but like when he captured those, you, you guys saw the review. I, I don't have to get into detail with it, but again, this is using the rock torso. This is, you can do one of two. I know a lot of people were asking. Um, I use the Legends from way back, like the first Legends series. You can also use 47.5 or 47B, whatever you want to call it. Uh, next up, we have Jeff Hardy. Jeff Hardy right here. This this is probably the one that I used most in my wrestling figure matches. You get the full playability with this one. This was really... The only painting required on this one was in the head scan. was just that head scan. This is from uh, 2008. Um, again, this was like all pretty much like shield, shield parts. Uh, even well, apart from the shield parts, again, Dean Ambrose or Seth Rollins, I went with uh, Finn Balor, the his long sleeves. So again, you get full playability. This, yeah, you're going to see this one a lot in my action figure matches. I have not... I don't plan on you. I'm sorry, but that uh, first or the final production one, I don't want to risk anything happening to that one. So that's the one that you'll most likely see in all of the uh, matches, the wrestling matches. Next up, well, before we get into this one, uh, <laughs> BEW, you are you're freaking. Uh, yeah, you guys will see it. Um, next up, we have. Um, Tama Tonga. Tama Tonga is one of the main Bullet Club members. This was using a Alberto Del Rio fodder. Uh, yeah, I think every just every bit of it, um, apart from the head scan. Uh, I, a lot of these are, are from earlier on in the year, so you might not know. the. That's kind of why I'm over, going over the formula with you, just in case if you were wondering. But this is actually Daniel Bryan. I used Daniel Bryan, just cut part of his beard, added Roman Reigns hairstyle. This is definitely, oh man, I can't stress to you how much I love this one. Um, now, we're going to get 
down, uh, before we get down to the last five, I want to mention just some that just really stood out to me this year. Um, Seth Rollins, see, okay, we did get him in the recent basic line, the WrestleMania uh, WrestleMania Series 34, but this is the Elite one that I made, and I can almost guarantee you, and you'll see, we'll find out here in the next month or so, but Elite, Elite Series 57, um, he is supposed to be in that line, and if you guys know, I mean, pretty much any time that Mattel has released a Seth Rollins, like, in the basic, it's literally like a month or two that they'll release him in the Elite in the exact same attire, so if it's not the SummerSlam, I'm pretty sure it'll be this one, this is the Kingslayer attire, um, yeah, it's it's almost a, a guarantee. But again, we'll find out soon enough. Again, that should be an Elite Series 57 right here, number five. Um, yeah, no, yeah, number five for sure. I'll, I'll call this is this is gonna, gonna come down to my last five. I'll tell you my my number one uh, for this year for sure. Um, so Triple H, this was uh, from his Shield run. This is yeah, could be wrong. Yeah, I did do a swap. Pretty sure. Yeah, this is a whole Triple H from the waist up, the vest, the like everything came from Roman Reigns. I mean the lower body. Um, this even came from uh, what was it? A Best of Heritage series for the vest. And this is this is really cool. I, when I saw him join the Shield, I knew that's just something that I needed to get done. I'm a big Shield fan. Like I love anything that the Shield has has done. So what I did is uh, not just for him, but also the Olympic gold medalist Kurt. Hey, well, yeah, I'm gonna have to set him down. They don't stand for some reason. I don't know what it is about those legs on those uh, ro old Roman Reigns figures, but mine get seem to get uh, loose pretty quick. I also got Kurt Angle done. Um, you guys know, I think it was yeah, it was Survivor Series. Uh, Kurt Angle also joined the Shield. So what I did is, uh, yeah, I pretty much just put it out. I think it was like a Nadine Ambrose or was it Seth Rollins. It's it's really tough because, I mean, most of their attires are very similar when it comes to the Shield. Um, this is not number four, but I just wanted to show you this one because, again, big Shield fan. I love the Shield. Anybody that has been part of the Shield, you're definitely going to be mad. Number four, right here. This, this is so sick. I can't believe the detail in this. This is a uh, bad or Sorry, uh, the underboss, Bad Luck Farley. Again, another Bullet Club member. This is basically the muscle. The head scan on this was completely... This This came from my really good friend, um, Borracho Pancho. And I don't know... I still. I, I know you told me the formula. I know you went over it with me. But for the life of me, I can't figure out how you got that head scan so accurate. Like, that is definitely... Uh, I, I, even if he was to come over to WWE and Mattel was to make him, I don't even see Mattel coming this close to the accuracy on this figure. This is all hand-painted. Like, even on the tattoos, this was all... Hey, look at this. This is just crazy. I mean, everything's there. This is incredible, man. I can't stress to you. Like, this is one of my centerpieces in the collection for sure. Now, number three is the Hulk Hogan. Um, this was... Yeah, this is, uh, again, Ruthless Aggression. Love this Hulk Hogan. Didn't get a chance to review this quite in, in its full detail, but... This was made uh, a while back, um, I think early 2017. I, I might have been late, but I didn't show this to you until like later on in the year. So again, I never got a chance to fully review this, but this is cool. I did not make this one, and it's it's an old... Unfortunately, I'm sorry, man. We haven't talked in a while. If you're watching this video, I apologize, but for the life of me, I can't remember who made this for me. I, I believe it starts with the letter H. Uh, gosh, I'm sorry, man. And I hope you, uh, you, you're not upset, but again, love this one. Uh, it's just so cool. We we should have gotten this out of any Hulk Hogan attire that Mattel had made. This one should have been been it. He did use a lot of the parts from some of the old elites that we got from Hogan. I mean the shirt, the sash right here, the bandana. Now the bandana. This right here was actually uh, not the actual bandana because if you remember when he wore this attire, this is the exact bandana that he wore. On there it says, Hulk still rules. And he does. <laughs> you are still one of my favorite superstars. And not necessarily in the ring. I mean, his wrestling moveset was kind of bland. But still, regardless, like that Hulk Hogan. Oh, man, I can't tell you how much. Now, right here. This is a combination of uh, my work and BEW. Me and BEW got together this year. We got a lot of work done together. Um, he did it definitely helped out a lot. BEW, if you're watching this, man, thank you for all of your help this year. Really looking forward to 2018. So, BEW did do the head scan on this. This is using the 3MB head scan, the body. Um, I This is the part that I made was just pretty much from the head down. This is a, a Fandango. This is a Fandango torso. And for the lower legs, this was Randy Orton. And then the upper legs, I believe these ones came from, um, what was it? Uh, I mean, you could use like 
There's two different... Uh, gosh, I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> it's not Randy Orton, because Randy Orton... You no, know, take that back. I believe these were also Randy Orton. I'm sorry. It, it's basically Randy Orton from the waist down. But yeah, this is Fandago. Now, number one, and I think you guys already knew. I mean, kind of said it midway through the video, right? This is the one of the last attires that Finn Balor, Prince Devitt had worn uh, prior to WWE. This is cool. This is all BEW's work. Everything about this was done by BEW. This is basically using a Cody Rhodes, uh, to, like the whole formula uh, it was just basically doing like the paint oh this is incredible dude i can't stress to you how happy i am with this custom give me your thoughts some of your opinions of some of your favorite cuts maybe it's ones that were not in this video were part of it but again if you guys enjoy 2017 i can't wait to show you what's coming in uh this year this is going to be an epic year for sure you guys i mean this year was just uh, <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to top it off, but you guys know that I'm always working. I'm always hard, working hard to put on this content for you. And there's definitely a lot more customs to still, you know, be showcased. Until next time, everybody.